My name's Mark Perrin, I'm the head groundsman at Crystal Palace Football Club. Uh, we're currently in the Barclays Premiership, uh, doing quite well. Uh, the club's based in uh, South East London, uh, Croydon to be exact. And uh, yeah, I've been here for just short of nine years. Uh, we've got the club itself has been at this site since 1925. We've had some ups and downs, and uh, probably more downs than ups. But yeah, that's football in the lower leagues for you. But at the moment, like I said, we're doing quite well. We're in the Premier League and looking to stay here. Uh, as regards staffing, staff that we've got here, there's there's myself and. Uh, Dean who, who base ourselves here, uh, there's three other staff at our training ground which is a small training ground as a lot of training grounds are in London uh, because of the uh, high population so we have three staff at the training ground, Gareth, Sam and Niall and uh, they look after three, three and a half hectares. Complete we control franchise, I just see that as a great opportunity for myself, uh, I believe so, you know, with it being a national company, the core, the core of business is very strong and, and, and that's what first attracted to me. It, 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 it attracted me to the franchise. As regards anything, personally I think there's, there's great room for expansion, particularly in the fine turf side of things and, that, and that's what's attracted me, me to it in particular because I think hopefully I can bring some experience uh, it, it, into the fold there and, 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 and like I say, there's a lot of room for expansion. Well, I've heard of Complete Weed Control because I've been using them during the course of my groundsmanship career, which started in the early 90s when I was at Stockport County. Uh, we, we used Complete Weed Control services at our training ground then, and then when I've moved uh, to down south to, uh, to St Mary's College over in Twickenham, you know, we had a site there that, that needed weed spraying and various other services services that completed and, and, and been a bit sensitive you know conservation area uh, a lot of staff and pupils about and I needed the spraying done in a very professional manner uh, and in a way that was you know I would say quick and easy and, and out of the way before we got too many comments about spraying pesticides with uh, darling children just nearby that kind of thing so so, so it, was very, it worked well like that uh, when, it, when I've moved to Crystal Palace obviously one needed when I was, we used to do our own spraying to start off with, but I found that when our sprayer broke, we've got to get it, somebody in to do it, and rather than pay to have a, a, a new sprayer, buy a new sprayer, we, we'd, use, we'd use, started off in small small bits really, we just used you know, them on the odd occasion, but over, over, over the years I've been impressed with the service, so we, we've moved from just a basic weed control to spraying fertilisers and, and, and all plant growth regulators and, and they've taken on quite a quite a large uh, chunk of our fertilizer program obviously it, it's a it's a big big upheaval for me because I'm moving from South East London where you know I own my own property and I have a job and my wife works and has a job we're moving giving that up and we're moving to the Cheshire and Staffordshire Shropshire uh, territory uh, so we've got to obviously sell our house and buy property up there so that, so that's that that's that's the bit that's the big upheaval but I just feel it's something that you know I've got to take on now uh, the opportunity arises and you know we'll, you know, we'd have to wait if we wait until the house was sold and stuff like that we'd, we'd be here for another year or so so I think it's just too good an opportunity to, to miss so I've got to move now and we'll deal with the personal issues you know as and when they arise the fact that we're immunity assured and uh, we have that level of professionalism means a lot to me as well. Uh, I, would, I wouldn't want to work, I'm not particularly interested in working for a, a company that doesn't have that kind of accreditation uh, because I think that this is how it's, with, with, with legislation, the, the way things are going, I, th I just think it's a case of people are looking for reasons not to spray pesticides these days and, and, and to cut down it where they can. And I think that kind of uh, level of professionalism is very important and, and it's very important not only to me but to people who are, who are potentially using our services. So far I've found them very professional. Uh, I was impressed with Ian and Alan when I first met them uh, at Soltex uh, last year. 
not no pressure or anything to get anyone signed up. It was all very much driven by me to, to try to sort of like, you know, they, they, they kind of wait and see how interested you are, uh, which, which is fine because, you know, at the end of the day, a lot, you know, they get a lot of inquiries from people in the same position who, who are thinking, well, you know, that sounds like, that sounds like a good company to work for. So I say they've been very professional. Uh, I've been up to head office. Uh, I've, I've met the staff, I've met uh, Petra, Josh, Ben, uh, John, and uh, again, very friendly, very professional. I've just got a feeling of a very close-knit team working up there uh, who are going to support me, you know, in my initial, you know, nervous f few months of getting started. Uh, all, all through it, being completely reassured by them. Uh, for, me, for my own purposes, really, that I'm doing the right thing, and of course, you know, it's not just me; it's my wife as well that's going to be, you know, involved in all this. And, and, and I thought it was important to involve her in the process. Whilst I'll, I'll be the franchisee, you, know, you need that level of support at home, and, uh, and, I, and I certainly want her to be invo involved in the business where, where she can. Uh, and, it, and, I th and I think Ian, Ian sort of. Just kept, and the rest of the team have just sort of made made a very welcome and you know, put any sort of anxieties, actually initial anxieties that she may have had to, to bed really. So like, no, she's completely on board with it. The challenge ahead, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, very, very you know nervous starting starting something new as you as you would be, but like I said, I think the potential for growth is you know, is there. And, and, and I'm, Really looking forward to get, getting started and can't really get going soon enough. You know, I'm sort of mentally already there, if you like, uh, and, I, and I just think it's going to it's going to be a great partnership.